Hello everyone, I'm Alec Malavalentine and welcome to Star Wars Rogue, another top-down shooting roguelite from Arson Games. They put out quite a few, Bionic Duo is being a really fun one that I enjoyed back in the day. And this one is rather interesting as usual, it's all robot-like. And if you're looking here on the... well, it's just the main screen, that's really strange. That is a massive looking ship, I mean it's going what looks like out of a star. It's amazing. Anyway, so what is the game about? Well, you're on a gigantic prison ship that has five different layers. You are a disembodied head inside a mech suit trying to make your way down the layers and levels to level five to defeat the warden and rescue the voice in your head. Now there are different types of mechs and weapons and it's essentially a, well, roguelike top-down shooter with a 2D interface. Arsenal awesome games do like their 2D interfaces, but that's never really been anything against them. Sometimes they're good, so let's get in. Jared was like, is he? Already have one file, 7% complete. I'm not very good at this game. I'm not very good at these types of games, ever. So let's create a new one. Yes, and we'll show you what it's like. Come up this way a minute. All right, so that's a loudspeaker. You can see, look at those funky little legs go. Oh, and the music in this game. It's Good. time for introductions. My name is Rodney. You, on the <coughs> other hand, are a disembodied head in a mech. The Megalith, an exotic and sunny work environment. Your job is to get me out. Yeah, yeah, I love the music. I'm your other heads handsomely for this, so you'd better do a good job before you die. Isn't that lovely? Oh, don't complain to me about it. It's only one head in your mech, and your heads grow back. Mental. All right, let's get out of here. Walk through the door. Too basic. It's hard to tell with disembodied space dragon heads. I'm apparently a space dragon. Door of the megalith right now. This whole place is lodged in the side of the star. Yeah, that's kind of strange that it's inside a star. Anyway, for hmm. purposes, just think of this as a giant death trap set here to keep you from me. That sounds fantastic. So let's shoot our way through here and get Luckily going. For both of us, I'm only five floors down. Unluckily for you, the warden is also down there. Giant robot -y guy. Your main weapon has infinite ammo. So go nuts, block. Aha! Or are you? That was a test. You're totally not blocked. This type of barricade can only be destroyed by a missile. Laser weapon. Now you have an energy weapon. Your energy fully recharges every time you enter a new room, along with your shields. So don't be shy on you. There we go. You're not qualified to go and die. Don't forget to adjust the difficulty for your selected challenge. Interesting enough, so let's get really into the meter thing, shall we? So we'll start a new run. Now uh, we can select different types, like there's the white glass, flame tank, indigo dipole. Ah. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Time only moves when you move. Oh, so it's like a semi turn based thing then. Okay. Difficult to learn. Yeah. Uh, rewarding when you do. Weak remain attack means Jeff. I'm on your little robot beam. No, 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 no. Let's go flame tank. I played it originally and I liked the flame tank. See? Oh, the music in this game is fantastic, everyone. There's a mini boss. Yeah, the game might be 2D, but when you encounter some of the bosses, they're just literally insane. Ah, new perk. Increase. Increase damage, please. I'll listen to that music. Oh, see what I mean? Things go insane. Look at that. That's a, like an energy weapon going at me. It's, it's mental. Absolutely mental. Oh god, it's wrecking me. Go away, go away. There we go. There's more of them. They have such funky weapons. It's bizarre to say the least. So, oh, the music's changed for the worst. I like the flame tank just because it's got a nice area of effect right from the start. See what I mean? Anything interesting? Get some rockets. 
Is that something at least? Ah, I'm not gonna waste rockets on these. Here's the shop anyway. Let's see if we can spend some credits on leveling. Nope. Nope. Don't have any. Reduces damage from explosives. I don't have enough credits for any of that. Alright. Guess I am blowing some stuff up so I can get some credits. And this is locked. I need a key card. Darn. 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 Oh well. Let's keep going. See how far we can... Why is it so dark in here? Ooh, this is really creepy in here. What? Oh, this music's kind of nice. So, which way to go? Here is the mini boss. So, let's go to the green door. And what is this? Hot rod. Leave a trill whenever you sprint. I didn't even know you could sprint. I'm an idiot. Yeah. There we go. There we go. I can't blow up those mines, sadly. Oh, they just exploded when they killed the last enemy. And we finally got a key card. Very nice. Oh, deal with the little ones first. Alright, there we go. I have to say, it's a basic top down shooter with roguelike elements, but all in all, I'm really enjoying it for what it is. I've played quite a bit already, and while I'm not good at these types of games, it doesn't mean you can't have some fun with them. Keycard, there we go. Med pack, what's these red things? Well, I'm not gonna stand on them, because you never know what might happen. Alright, so let's get through here again. We need to go up. The minimap's in the top right that shows you where you actually need to go. Alright, so we're through here now, and now we need to go up. Is that another mini boss from the looks of it? What is he doing? Oh, their weapons are so artistic. It's more art than weapon almost. There we go. Did he drop anything? No, not really. Oh well. Oh jeez. Could you guys get any more aggressive? There we go, at least they're nice and weak. Some of these are pretty slow at actually responding, which I like. But some of the weapon systems are so bizarre. It kind of looks like looking for one of those little hollow glass lenses things. Different shapes. And these ones have just gone insane. Their weapons are firing weapons. Not fair. But don't worry, as you level up, you will actually upgrade your weapons and they will become better. Better. Hmm. 5% to avoid damage is really nice. Time for the first full boss, everyone. The Battle Swarm. Fire all the rockets. Pick up all the credits. Oh, it's gonna do its weird funky thing. Check this out. Oh, key card. Yeah, see what I mean? Look at this. The weapons are insane. But at least this boss is really easy. Oh, it's getting really close. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Ooh, what's this? Reduce enemy speed by 10% and improves rate of fire. Like it. Get some ammo. Alright. Let's get the heck out of here and go to the next floor. Oh, there we go. It's that way. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah. You get like a perk. If you don't use any missiles, you get extra bonuses. Oh, great. Did I just run into the boss? This mission is impossible, apparently? What? Ow. 
Oh, so I just have to keep dodging. And he killed himself. Okay? That was interesting. Oh, look at their weapons. They're literally arcing everywhere. Here it comes. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can deal with that. Nope. Oh, I need to deal with that little guy over there. There we go. Perfect. Moving on. Oh, oh, oh. You don't have a lot of health. I've got three health left. That's nothing, really. And nothing's really dropping any health at the moment. There we go. One point of health. That door is locked. Do I have a key card for it? I do. Ah. Fire attacks in your direction do not hurt you to end. Huh. Interesting. Makes light shows. That cripples enemies sounds cool, but I don't have enough for any of that. So let's get some XP instead. Increases health by two. I will take that. Alrighty. Now, where do we go from here? Alright. So I have to go to the right and then down. And then here. Alright. This is a very tight corner for this guy. Oh, he touched me. Don't touch me, bro. Don't be touching. Don't be touching. Ah, ah. Got quite a bit of health on him, didn't he? Alright. Anything nice here? And a key card. Very nice. I don't know what it is with Arsenal games, but they always have really good soundtracks to their games. They might be 2D games, but it doesn't matter as long as it's bloody well fun, really. Okay. Big boss, the wall master. Well, he can build walls better than anyone. Holy shit. What is this? What is this? I can't even get to the bloody guy at this rate. I need to find a good angle to actually attack him. Which seems almost impossible. Ah! Alright, alright, alright. Uh, now I know why he is the master of walls. Oof! No! Well, folks, there you have it. Only the second floor, not very good, not very good. But this is Star Wars Rogue. In fairness, I like it. I like it quite a bit. I'm terrible at it. Absolutely horrific. But I've never been good at roguelike games. Even roguelite ones like this. But all in all, I like it. And if you like what you saw, you should definitely check it out. It's on Steam and the link is in the description below. So I'm Al, thanks for watching everyone. And bye bye. Keep running! Go!